So as usual, we hope you guys are doing awesome out there, especially now more than ever with how crazy things are, what's happening outside in the world. So we hope you're somewhere safe and healthy. Today in this video, we wanted to talk about some things that we as creatives, filmmakers, photographers, whatever it is that you do, can do during this time of quarantine. Feels like we're all on some sort of lockdown. So I know we haven't had a video on the channel for the last couple of weeks. And part of that is because we were actually out of town filming some stuff and kind of doing a little family trip. Uh, I didn't quite get as far along in the edit with that as I wanted to. So we didn't get that one posted in time. And then of course, everything kind of started happening and falling apart uh, with what's currently going on. So we just haven't really had much of a chance to, to do something, but we wanted to talk about some things that um, we think would be good tips or suggestions on what we can all do uh, during this time while we're, we're kind of cooped up in the house. This is my second cup of coffee this morning. I can't remember what the first thing is. I've already forgotten this. <laughs> So one of the first things that we thought of when we were talking about and thinking of ideas for this video on things that we could suggest to you guys to work on was working with your equipment, whether that's, you know, working on new camera movements or camera angles and things like that, that you wanted to try out for different types of shots and different productions, practicing your gimbal and stabilizer skills, um, just familiarizing yourself with pieces of your equipment or gear that you may not have had as much experience with as some of your other equipment, working on new editing techniques, all that sort of stuff that you can work on now while you maybe don't have any pressing projects that kind of frees you up and gives you mental you know capacity and and time to work on that sort of stuff that you may not have otherwise had those are great things to work on during this time that's going to make you that much better of a filmmaker uh, on the other end of this really Something else we thought might be good to work on would be interview setups, setting up lighting, setting up cameras, multiple camera angles, that sort of thing for filming different types of interviews. And in fact, that's one of the videos we're working on that we're gonna have hopefully coming soon to the channel is some tips and tricks on setting up for cinematic interviews. So definitely stay tuned for that. I love these mugs. I have a problem with coffee mugs. I have an unbelievably huge collection of coffee mugs from specialty coffee shops that we visit wherever we travel to and, and some local places here in Arizona. Uh, because I'm a huge specialty coffee nerd, and yeah, so we, we've got all kinds of cool mugs, and Marisa can't stand when I buy new mugs from places. Only because we don't have any more space. There's always room for coffee mugs. I will find a place for coffee mugs. You know what, though? This just made me think of something. Product photography, product videos are a huge market. There's all kinds of clients looking for that sort of stuff, whether it's restaurants or uh, companies that manufacture different types of products or just, you know, interesting uh, product shots that you can integrate into your videos in some way, depending on what type of videos you do. In a couple of our previous videos, the review of the Sony 50 millimeter F1.8 lens and the review of the tripod, uh, we did product style video. Those are really good things to practice. That way you have another thing added to your skill set that you can offer your clients when uh, you get back to normal functioning work. Another thing that's good to do when you have extra free time is educate yourself. One thing that's really great are like the masterclass style films, um, and especially one that we started watching recently, which is the Cinematography Masterclass from Jacob Owens uh, at Buff Nerds Media. They put together a really, really nicely done masterclass that's specifically dedicated to filmmaking and cinematography, and that is something that we've been watching and enjoying and learning new things from, and I would definitely recommend. Another alternative when it comes to educating yourself and learning new things is right here on YouTube. YouTube is a fantastic resource for all different sorts of things. There's so many things available on YouTube that you can, you know, watch and learn tutorials and DIY videos and all sorts of things. Channels like Film Riot, Indie Mogul, The Buff Nerds, Great Big Story. There's so many different things available on YouTube as a resource that are free that are absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, what's next? So drop a comment down below and let us know what sort of things you're gonna be doing with your current downtime. These are some of the things we're gonna be working on and just wanted to share with you guys and, and give you some suggestions on some stuff to do. So thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. What you doing? I'm learning crafting. I'm taking this downtime, and one of the other things I think we should suggest people, you know, learn is crafting. I mean, look. Please tell me you're not going to teach them. What's wrong with my craft? Did you look at it? <laughs> okay, maybe we don't teach crafting. God.